Hey folks, um, it's kind of been a while since I've been doing, um, actually I just checked the, on the last time I did a Bob Dylan um, album review, or I've been most, well it's just like commentary, you know, video, um, you know, I'm not really doing full on reviews of these albums, yeah, I'm just kind of just, um, from my perspective, how I feel about the album, and um Yes, the last album I kind of did was New Morning. That was three weeks ago. So this video is going to be kind of short, or at least these next two here. Um, and the one I'm going to be doing today happens to be Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. It was a movie released back in July of 73. And um, this film was filmed out in, um, I think it was New Mexico, I'm pretty sure. And Bob Dylan and his family actually moved them or his kid or whatever, his his daughter and his wife, Sarah, they moved out there. And uh, he played a little small role in that movie, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. He played Elias. And um, he only got maybe a few cameos with very few lines. Um, and it starred Chris Christopherson, also James Coburn as well, who had played in, you know, an, an actor that had played in thousands and billions of uh, well it says on wikipedia that it was only um just 70 films which is still insane um and this was produced or uh was directed by sam um pepkin or kep kepkin or something like that i i forget the guy's last name um maybe oh yeah um Yes, yeah, Sam Pekenpa, Pekenda, uh, Pinaka. I, I don't know. I, I cannot pronounce that last name. Um, but yeah, the movie was released around the summer of '73 and was recorded. I think the first recordings of the actual soundtrack was in January of '73. Um, so the actual soundtrack release was July 13th of '73. And 35 minutes. Um, this was produced by Gordon Carroll. I don't know who he is. Um, we got a lot of famous people, a lot of great session players on here. Of course, Bob Dylan providing you know harmonica. Uh, Byron Berlin on fiddle. Jolly Roger on banjo. Uh, Bruce Langhorn, amazing session um player i think he played um i think he was on blonde and blonde i'm pretty sure um roger mcguinn of course excellent booger t jones on bass guitar um jim keltner amazing uh, i love jim keltner and russ kunkel on tambourine and bongos um this album charted in the united states at number 16 in the uk was at number 29 um, so I, I do think to me, this album isn't necessarily a great, not a great, like, not a great album all around, but I do enjoy the instrumentation on here and I enjoy everybody's playing on here. It's, it's a really I think it definitely is a very solid listen, you know, even though it's not for everybody, of course. Oh, well, maybe it is. I don't know. You know, it's not, you know, there's not a lot of Dylan vocal, you know, it's mostly just instrumental. Um, and I definitely love the first theme, um, which is like a six minute piece here called the main title theme, Billy. Um, and it starts off with this like tambourine beat. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. And you get some amazing guitar work on here as well. Really excellent bass. I don't know if it's Bruce. Not Bruce. But um, Bruce Lang. Or no. Uh, Booker T. Jones. Or. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Booker T. On there. But it's a really cool. Ex what a great opening. That, that main theme. Billy. Um, and then we get the next one. Katina theme. And it's it's kind of good, you know, it has a little bit of a, 
you know, kind of a country, kind of a little bit of the West sound, which is kind of fun. Um, we also get Billy One. This is actually the first vocal track on the soundtrack. And um, it's a pretty nice song, you know. If, um, I mean, I've never seen the movie before, so I don't really, I guess I don't really get the gist of, you know, the, you know, the character or just how, I guess it's how this, or just how it's portrayed, I guess, in the in the movie. But it's a nice song. Yeah, it's a little bit of Spanish flavored. You know, you get a little bit of that Tex Mex sound a little bit too on the album, which is fun. Um, but yeah, Billy One. Also, the bunkhouse theme sounds a little bit of the same. You know, river theme is kind of good, a little bit relaxing. Then side two is the turkey chase. I enjoy this. Has a bit of a you know has the little bit of a you know you know country sound you know um, it's got banjo which is fun I mean I'm saying fun a lot but you know it, it's a fun listen you know what what can you say um, and of course after that is knock knock knocking on heaven's door of course Guns and Roses remember them remember when they did that song. Yeah, but um, of course, "Knocking on Heaven's Door" it's an incredible song. Um, I believe it charted in the top twenty. Um, it's it's a fantastic song. I love that. I do love, of course, "Knocking on Heaven's Door." And then uh, we also get the final theme, which is kind of a big opus kind of thing. You know, big, um, you know, with tons of instrumentation. And Billy Four and Billy Seven. Yeah, Billy Four is kind of like the same as like Billy One a little bit, and Billy Seven's mostly just an instrumental piece, I think. Um, so either way, I do enjoy um, Pat Garrett for what it is. You know, it's not you know something I'm listening to all the time, but you know, it's definitely a fun listen. You know, kind of an enjoyable sound. You know, but anyways, folks. Um, that's all I gotta say about the soundtrack or album. I think it is considered an album. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, folks. Okay. Bye bye.